Hello, welcome to another script case tutorial. This is Marcia and in today's video I'm going to show you new options we have added to script case 9.9. So before you use the options, please make sure you have your version updated. You can check here and if it's not the latest version, you can go to help and update version. To demonstrate the new options we have added to this version, I'm going to use here this project samples. I have already imported it. Within this minor version, we have added some improvements, not new features but improvements. One of the tools we have improved is related to the data dictionary. So the data dictionary itself, we have changed the layout. I'm going to add here to this video description, a link showing you how to use the data dictionary if you don't know it. So you can uh, click here to see the data dictionary created. You will see that we have a brand new interface. You have a better way to use it now. You can edit here including the new option we have added. You will see that the interface is uh, more friendly now. The feature related to the data dictionary, which is the application language, we have added some new options. So we have, we have also updated uh, the interface, as you can see here. So we have a new layout and also uh, new options. If you check here the folders, you will note that we have script case messages and we have project messages. So script case messages is uh, all the messages we send to script case. It's created by our development team, but you can uh, modify. So we'll, you will always see here the variable. It always starts uh, with lang underscore, and then you have the value in English and all the uh, translations. You are able to change this translation if you think it's uh, not okay. And once you change any of this translation, uh, script case will uh, give you the option to send this uh, modification to our development team. So it means you can improve also this message for our script case in general. So back here to script case messages, you will note that we have fix it, the labels here for the language. So when you do the vertical scrolling, it will not disappear anymore. It's uh, easier for you to edit the, the, the messages. Uh, and we did the same for the columns. So if you do the horizontal uh, scrolling, you will see that it doesn't uh, move. So it's essential for us to uh, edit here the, the message. And we have added also the option for quick search within the, the screen. You can go here and search for one specific message. Any information you add here, it will search. So very useful option as well. And uh, when you go to the project messages, you will be able also to change the folder's uh, name. So you can edit and also delete. It will not happen with a script case uh, message folders because, as I said before, this is some, something we, uh, we send to all script cases. So you are not able to change uh, the names, uh, only the messages. But for the, for the project messages, I mean, the one you import using the data dictionary, you will be able to do these modifications. Okay, so very nice options here. You have also uh, this new layout. We hope that it helps you to easily create here your messages. Very useful to the data dictionary and application language. So those are two important improvements we have added to this version. Another improvement is within the express edit option and also the default values, okay? So it's not a new option, but it's just something we added to the express edit and to the default values. So I'm going to open here a form application just to exemplify a simple form using the table of customers. So for example, you have here uh, this 
birth date. If we type a wrong date here, just to simulate an echo, we will see that it shows here in invalid data. You have different ways to customize this echo message. So you can, for example, display this uh, beside, or you can also display using a model. So you just go here to application settings, and then you have here display field echo in a model. So you can enable this option, generate the source code, and now let's test here. The echo will open using a model, model window. So this is something you can already do using this option I'm showing. And you have also other options that were not included within the express edit, the default value. So I'm going to access here first the express edit within the menu application, express edit. And you will see, let's select all applications. You see here the new options added, field echo position, display echo in a model, timeout echo, display date format, and also display message. Okay, so next. And then you have here the options for you to configure how you want to have these options. And also within the default values, you have them all. And you have here the label new for you to identify, display uh, date position and date format. So again, it's not something we have added now. It was already inside script case, but we have added within default values and express edit. So default values you will use to customize your applications. So you have you can use it before you, cre you create the application. And the express edit you can use after you create. So if you want to change something in several applications, you can uh, use this feature. It will be even faster for you to create and edit your applications. So I hope you enjoyed the improvements and I'll see you next video. Bye bye.